things matter? That's a really hard question to answer because there's so many answers to it. Um, and I, when you sent me this question, I thought about it for quite a while. And I, I will answer this from a very personal uh, viewpoint. It matters on two totally different levels. One which is just philosophical and cultural. So I think, I think science touches the essence of what it is to be human. Because I think the most important thing to a human being is to know what they are, what the world is like around them, what is the nature of the universe, what is reality, what is real, what is not real. Um, what, what, who, who am I? What is consciousness? All of these things are really uh, philosophical questions, they're cultural questions, but I think they're the questions that science answers. So that is one level, and, and a level that really does actually inspire me. The second, second aspect to your, to your question is, why does science matter? And it matters because we're very lucky that we live on a planet that, that uh, uh, has allowed, uh, allowed uh, life to flourish. Uh, but we have to look after this planet. And all the answers that we need in the future, whether it's going to be medicine, so that you can live a long and healthy life, uh, much longer than I hope I will live, uh, so you can have the means to control global warming, um, uh, uh, energy across the entire world for free, wouldn't that be nice? So that no child goes to bed hungry, which they do at the moment, which is a scandal. Can we uh, uh, find scientific solutions to growing enough food for everyone in the world? Uh, all of these things are important questions that humanity faces right now. And those, the answers to those questions will come from science. So I think that's why science matters. Uh, so the answer is twofold, two totally different things. One which is really at the heart of what I feel is a, what a human being is about. And the other is to what we as, as humankind will achieve in the future. So I think that's why science matters. Why do we need to understand chemistry in particular? Okay. Well, first thing I would say about science is that we have very false distinctions between physics and chemistry and biology. Because nature, nature which, is, which uses, from which science, science arises, does not recognize any, any of those boundaries. Okay, so when, when you have a plant and it carries out photosynthetic processes, that is a combination of physics, chemistry and biology. I feel quite strongly that we should think of science as a holistic thing. But your question is also important. Why, what, is, what is so important about, important about chemistry? Well, chemistry lies somewhere in between physics and biology. And the reason why chemistry is so important is because, again, it comes back to life on Earth. If you look at the Earth and why it is so different from all the other planets in the solar system, from most things that we know in the, in the universe, is because it's, it's full of molecules. So life is molecular in basis, and chemists are the masters of the molecular world. They, they know how to look at it, they know how to play with it, they know how to make new matter, new molecules. So chemistry is, is, is the science, the science of molecules, and the science of molecules is what drives all of biology on Earth, and I think that's why it's so important. The other reason why it's important is that if you look at medicine, it's going to require chemistry to produce new drugs, to make, make people uh, healthier, better, uh, to combat all sorts of diseases. It's going to take uh, a chemist to work out new pesticides and, and fertilizers that will make uh, uh, more crops grow and feed the population of this world. It's going to require chemistry of, uh, 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 to, to, to maybe try and make artificial photosynthetic leaves so that we don't have to rely on oil for our energy. We could maybe just have our own personal leaf that makes energy for us. That could be, that's a massive challenge, and I think the center of that challenge is chemistry. 
So in all of these things, I feel chemistry is the central science that deals with how molecules behave and how they can be used in lots of exciting, exciting things. So those are the reasons I think chemistry is important. 2011 is the International Year of Chemistry. No. What does this mean to you? You know, this is interesting. Do, do you know which is the country that proposed why we should have an International Year of Chemistry? Is it England? No. It's a very surprising country. Have another guess. France? Germany? Mm. You'd think it would be one of those. Yes. And I thought it would be one of those as well. Actually, it's quite a surprise. It's Ethiopia. Mm. Do you know where Ethiopia is? Yes, it's yeah. in Africa. Yeah, in the Horn of Africa, on, on the east. And you know Ethiopia has lots of uh, 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 problems. It has drought, it has famine. And the reason uh, they put chemistry forward, uh, or, or to dedicate a year to, to, to chemistry, is because chemistry is at the center of creating sustainable living, a way to live on Earth that allows everyone to be safe, to be disease-free, to, be, to, be, uh, 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 to, to achieve their potential, but in a sustainable way, so that we don't destroy the Earth in doing this. And chemistry is at the center of that. So, so, uh, so it was really quite interesting that Ethiopia put this forward. Um, what does it mean to me? Well, I'm really excited that my, my, my subject has been recognized for such an accolade. And I think what's also exciting is to, to, to show people this wonderful science, which, will, which carries with it the promise for, for, for a future, not just for mankind, but for all life on Earth, for, for sustaining this planet. Uh, so if we can do clever chemistry, we'll be able to live in a safer and a smarter way without reusing the resources of the, of the Earth. So, so that's what it means to me. Chemistry, uh, today we face many problems in the, uh, on, on, in the world. Hmm? Uh, you look around, you, you see, Marcus, you're very lucky. There you are. You have wonderful schooling. Yeah, you look well fed to me and well looked after by, by, your, by your parents. Um, but I was born in Africa. And many children were not as lucky as, 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 as you are. And, and uh, to try and give them a way to achieve as much in their lives as you are no doubt going to achieve in yours, we're going to find clever ways to, 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 to create cheap food, cheap energy, cheap medicine. And all of those things are central to chemistry. And that, that is the reason why International Year of Chemistry is so important. How were you inspired to become a scientist? Actually, um, it sounds, my answer is going to sound a bit strange to you. But I was, I was born in Nairobi, in Kenya. Um, which is just below the equator and uh, from, from my garden in Nairobi you could look up at the sky, we always had clear skies almost every night and you could see the Milky Way and I think it's not possible to look up and see the Milky Way like that night after night and not become a scientist because you always wonder what is that, what am I looking at how far is that star, what is that star and so on. And I think actually so it was the night sky about Nairobi that inspired me, me to become a scientist. It's as simple as that. What advice would you give to anyone who wants to start a career in science? You know my advice would be very simple. Do what you enjoy. Do what makes you happy. So it's not about just success. It's about what makes you really happy, somewhere much more important than just mere, merely making a lot of money or being, being successful. You know, when, when we work together here, uh, sometimes we go through very hard days because we can't understand what we're looking at. And we do some very tough experiments, and many of them fail. 
Uh, and the only reason we keep going is because we love what we do and it gives us happiness to do it. So my advice is very simple. If you do something and it makes you happy, then you're doing the right thing whether it's science or it's art or anything else you might want to do. Thank you very much, Professor, for answering my questions. Thank you, Marcus, for interviewing me. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you.